What's up guys? I'm back and today I have the Arma Granite Grom on the table. Let's check it out. We have the Quick Run 2435 brushless motor. It is a 4500 kV. I don't know guys. This is a little bit smaller than the stock motor but it still rips. I got it up to 28 miles per hour on 2S. Here's what we got in for the ESC. It's a quick run 16 BL30. There you go. That's what's in there. The only problem that I find with this is look at this. I mean that connector is old school. So what I did is I cut it off and soldered on a Traxxas one. Alright, so what do we got here? Stop read oh there you go guys it is at 28 miles per hour wow well what's inside there you go i had to solder those on these are some of the original traxxas connectors that i've had these sitting around for 10 plus years these things are better than the new ones i think but i put them in there because i had the max amp 2250 batteries here I had two of these from my old Revo Summit days so they fit in here perfectly I double sided this on here and I haven't had an issue at the skate park yet everything's held up pretty good there's my SL R300 that thing will allow you to hook up your original radio so now turn it on there you go that's the cheapest way to bind it back with your spectrum oh yeah I found this on eBay I got a good deal on it how much did I pay for this I think it was twenty dollars and fourteen cents shipped oh yeah sometimes you get good deals on there oh yeah oh yeah this thing is a fun little basket all right so is it durable i had this at the skate park you should go and check it out this thing hung in there with the best of them. The only issue I had was the diff cups in here, in the front here. I broke one. I landed on power. Yeah, I know. I do it every now and again. The only problem that I have is this right here. The only way to replace a diff cup is to buy an assembled diff kit. You know, and I mean, I don't really need the whole diff. I just wanted the ends. So here you go, $9.99 plus tax, just to get that fixed. Well, I will be upgrading to the new diffs as soon as I can get a set. They'll be on here. Here you go. It's next to a Volcano 16. This thing I thought would be like the perfect size truck to get out there and play with the, the mini stuff. So I was kind of disappointed in the Grom and how small it is. If you look at it here, it looks like the wheelbase is pretty close, maybe a little bit shorter. But if you go and you put these tires on here, it adds a little bit more width and a little bit more air control. This thing is super fun with it on here. I just love the whole idea. The clipless body system that's on here makes it look clean, you know. I think they could have added a little skid protection, you know, here and there, but hey, we'll figure out something. Okay, now you've seen what it looks like next to the Volcano 16. How much did everything cost? I went in here 
and I had to buy the servo mount. I found that on eBay. That was $10.58. You know, that was actually through Horizon Hobby on eBay. Either way you go, you're going to have to pay the shipping. Then, I couldn't find the pinion gear. I went with a Robinson Racing 16 tooth. And that was $11.28 shipped. I found a deal on the receiver, the SLR 300, on eBay. It was $20.14 shipped. Oh man, that was a good deal. I thought everybody else wanted $5 to $10 more. Let's see. The motor and ESC, I, I bought those on A Main and they were $63.57. So, the grand total of upgrades was $105.57. That's a lot for a little truck. You could buy a brushless ready, what, off Banggood for about $150 and everything is good to go. Why buy the Grom? Oh man. It's an Arma? Oh yeah, I think it's going to be good. So, with $137.79 to buy the truck, the grand total for this thing as it sits is $243.36. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not done yet. I still got to upgrade the diffs. I want to paint the body. Oh man, there's going to be a lot more upgrades. I don't know about the aluminum shocks. I don't know if we need those, but maybe we will see. Well guys, what do you think? Is that a little bit too much for this tiny little truck? $243 and some change. I don't know. I think it's a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but this is going to be a fun little truck. I'm waiting. I bet you by spring, Arma will have a brushless version, and it'll be out, and they will sell them all day. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you next time. All right, guys. We have the long jump. We're going to come up this quarter pipe. And we got about 30 feet before we hit the grass. I don't know if it's going to be able to make it. Let's find out anyway. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It felt like it cut out on me. Uh-oh. We lost something, guys. She's broken. Oh.